So already some of the regular water has gone mm -hmm. out via the through wall. But we can close that now. Okay, it goes easier clockwise then. Yeah. <laughs> so is that is that called the seacock valve? The thing you just oh yeah, that's a seacock. Okay. And that's what you started just off closing that. Okay. I'm going to remove both the return hose and the uptake hose, which is this one, uptake into the pump. And where did I put it? Is my get still there? Yeah, right there. I'll take a rag. Now this is what I was mentioning in the last email, it's just a oh. little more like that. Mm. 5 16th, perfect for these things. Oh great. Yeah. Better than the screwdriver. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we're getting any light out of it, but... As you know, all these, all these hoses are double clamped when they go into the through the hull. Yeah. As a precaution in case one of them gives up. Makes sense. To get the hoses off their fittings, um, <clears throat> sometimes you need the help of a pair of pliers. Just oh, to okay. Wiggle them back and forth a little bit. And that one's the intake hose, you said? This one's the return hose I'm starting off with. Okay. I'm going to stick one of those extension nylon hoses on the end of it. Okay, this one comes off. I'm wiggling it off. So. My bucket is... Yeah. I brought one here. Oh, here. Oh, you got that too, eh? Yeah. Whatever yeah. works. I guess neither mind. Anyway. Yeah, just to extend it so you can reach the bucket. So it goes back into the bucket. Yeah. Yeah. It's been sitting in a round shape for so long now. <laughs> I'm just using this to keep it more or less in place like that. Oh, nice. I should have done that with the oil change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> Ruined a good pair of pants. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> That's why I'm wearing these pants, <laughs> even with the antifreeze. Yeah. I tend, by the way, to put a little bit of paper towel here, okay. yeah. wrapped up so it soaks up the oil that might come out. I can't believe this engine's an 82. It looks like it's like two years old. It's so clean. The oil always ends up black, no matter how fresh it is. But yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Upper one is resisting a little bit, so I'll have to use some pliers. I brought some too, Nathan. That little toolbox. Oh, here. Got it. Barbs on these fittings. I mean, that look like yeah, that. Yeah, like one way. Makes sense. One way barbs. Better too tough than too easy. Yeah. 
Those just half inch hoses? Uh, I guess so, yeah. Mm. What I sometimes do to get at things We'll put some, some of your antifreeze in here now. Yeah. Right, we'll use the clamp to keep that up. You don't happen to have a funnel of some kind anymore, right? Small funnels? I think I do. Yeah. I got the multi pack at Harbor Freight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. I'm just going to probably end up putting a little bit of of the antifreeze into here. Okay. So it doesn't start sucking, start by sucking air. Gotcha. And this is the intake, right? Right. Which goes on the, on the through hole down there? On the yeah, top. it goes on the, on the, top on the vertical. Okay. Through hole. And the return goes on the horizontal. The vertical, okay, I see, yeah. Um, we'll put a second one in there. It's good not to have any loose foil <laughs> in the bucket. Yourself, you can plant this somewhere to keep it up. Gotcha. Maybe there, like that. Yeah. And we'll start the engine. Cool. And as soon as the engine starts, we'll dip this into the. Gotcha. Into the bucket. You probably need to do a fairly long. Uh, yeah. Pretty cold. Flow plug. Make sure this doesn't tip up, maybe I choke down on it. Wanna turn the battery on, Doc? Oh, I've got it. I'm gonna put them on all. Perfect. Did you replace the one that was weak? No. Not yet? No. Okay. Turn the key. Do I do I leave the glow plugs on as I'm turning the key? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah. Uh, but okay. you can go probably a good 20 seconds or so the glow, glow plug before you try. And then you, you should start fast, but then slow it down. Gotcha. And I'll I'll be here to, to move it right into the bucket once it starts. Coming out of the exhaust, okay. so the engine's going to be fairly cool. Yeah, okay. This 
spring one. This spring one I started it up. Yeah. I forgot to open up the through hole. Yeah. And it heated up pretty damn quickly that Oh really? Yeah. It doesn't take much, does it? No. Maybe give it a little more RPM for a bit. Keep an eye on the temperature, just in case. Just put a little more in there. As I said, if necessary, you can even run it that way for a few minutes. Yeah. If when you're in the water. But generally, it's better to hook it back up to the regular source, mm -hmm. to the to the lake raw water source. Wow. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to take like a cup, you know, a gallon or two. That's nice. Well, yeah. it, it took it took maybe a gallon and a half. Yeah. That's great. And the rest of the hook you can use, I guess, in the in the head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is this uh, the right tension?